technical consultants, okay. and then they give me their input, and we argue and we talk about it. And, and so I can't tell process. you what we're going to come back with exactly. Okay, thank you, Supervisor Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, to Mr. Charles, one particular document that I think is, uh, and there, there are many here, and they're, they're all significant because they're all uh, public and uh, agency comment, I guess you would say, on, on a very uh, uh, large project, a project of great magnitude in the county. The one I'm looking at in particular, and I would like to bring your attention to this and see if you're, you have uh, received this and if, if you have responded. This is from Peter Bay, uh, a PhD botanist, coastal plant ecologist. Uh, he sent uh, the document to our project planner, Mr. Gonzalez, as well as the Planning Commission and the Board of Supervisors. And he has a number of comments. Have you, have you reviewed the document? I've seen the document, but I haven't gone through it in detail yet. I sort of just glanced through it. Well, I'm familiar with his work from a number of years ago, and he's worked on a number of, of projects, I think, from the federal perspective with respect to, um, as I recall, the 10-mile um, the, the um, state holdings with respect to the recreation of the coastal trail through the, through the dunes to 10 Mile River. Um, and I think he, he has excellent credentials. He has a number of concerns that I hope that you will uh, respond in detail. One of them is, number two, potentially significant indirect hydro hydrologic impacts to federally listed steelhead and listed critical habitat in Forsyth Creek. Mm -hmm. And then he goes into quite a bit of, of, of detail. Um, he, he claims that the EIR is inadequate. Um, the, the draft EIR discussion of potential significant indirect impacts of the project to federally listed steelhead is deficient. It fails to assess potentially significant indirect and cumulative impacts to federally listed steelhead and designated critical habitat in Forsyth Creek. Um, you know, he goes on and has quite a bit of technical information. So I hope that uh, those concerns are addressed. Um, he also has concerns about uh, mitigation for loss of oak woodlands relating to significant impacts. Um, He concludes by saying he thinks that the draft EIR is seriously flawed in at least three areas of impact assessment for biological resources, vague and contradictory on wetland and wetland special status plant species, woefully incomplete and uncritical with regard to evaluation of indirect impacts on federally listed steelhead species and deficient in its assessment of post-project reclamation, regeneration of the oak woodlands. Um, he feels that the draft EIR needs substantial revision and consultation with state resource agencies and recirculation. So I think it's in the project um, applicant's interest that these things are not left hanging as, co as commentary and not addressed, that they, they should be addressed on the front oh, they side. Will, they will be. So they're not, these questions don't arise when, the, when there's a final EIR. They will be completely addressed, particularly those ones that came in from technical consultants that are representing in the community. They, because uh, as you know in law, their uh, their comments hold a little more weight, so they will Good. be very explicitly addressed. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Supervisor. Again, this is a uh, a reception of comment from the public and board members uh, that will remain open until. February 15th so if anyone has any comments that have not been stated today including board members you still have an opportunity to do so um, in a quick review I wrote a series of notes um, of issues uh, traffic study air quality model uh, the planning of a berm along black Bart planting of trees uh, no language in regards to the zoning change quite a few comments from Levita school evacuation plan speed limits being incorrect um, move the situation to masonite that's a pipe dream um, chromium water study visual impact not enough water air quality using best control techniques technology these will all be addressed one thing that i did not see was under the noise standards was an evaluation of a public entity helicopter parked across the street 
and the impact and the noise levels that has. I don't see that uh, in decimal uh, measurements at all here. Um, that is a direct corridor for flight pattern for that helicopter, a very large helicopter, and how that relates to the decimals uh, for the operation of equipment. Also stated uh, all the written comments will be referred to or commented on. Uh, there has been one submitted by Granite in regards to uh, PM uh, estimates and water. Uh, I want to make that on the record. Um, so um, I spent in excess of 16 hours reading this document. If anyone wants to challenge me, I think I'm as educated to find the sections and the pages as Mr. Charles. This is a very expensive document, very thorough, but there can be parts left out. I, I, I'm not an advocate for the pro project or the EIR or a, a dissenter, but certainly by volume, uh, I think there's about 14 trees listed in all these documents. Um, so any other comments from the board members, and we've received all the comment, we're right on schedule, I believe. Uh, the time frames will allow for public comment to remain open. Uh, all these comments will be formulated into a final EIR. Uh, they'll be coming back to the Planning Commission in May, uh, coming back to the board sometime in June. Um, anything we have missed to my board members? No. I think it's been a very thorough discussion. I think a lot of folks have read this document as much as I have and I appreciate their comments. Um, and the process will move forward in the next step. Any comments from staff? Okay. Um, well then the action then is to just move forward to the next step. Is that correct to the council? Accept. That's correct. Just accept. accept the draft EIR? Or Received. it's yeah. been received well, it, and commented on. The comment period continues, and then um, we'll be back here, I guess, in, in April for the next, <coughs> next st uh, stage. Okay. Well, then certainly the consensus of the board is that we have received and allowed comment, and uh, it'll move to the next step. Okay. This item is closed, and we'll be adjourned for lunch. One thirty, right? We'll be back at.